What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO and the recreation of the Singapore Chungyi Airport. And last time we did some work on the mezzanine level of Terminal 4, adding in a couple restaurants. We've got uh, somebody who can't actually access where they need to be, so let's take out that piece of counter. I know you're mad because you can't work. But things are going... Well, things are going. We'll say that. Need to do something about this mess here, because this mess here is causing this mess here. And that's that's a little bit of a problem. Um, wanted to take a quick look to see where we kind of are with things. I also thought, did I not put... I thought I had a ramp right here. Yeah, I thought I put a ramp right here. Um, you, I'm going to label as departure. And again, we're going to do just one way that way. So that way, if you are in any of the G gates, you can land, you can come straight up and over. And then you don't come down. However, this is going to be a mess. Yeah, that's going to be a big mess. I don't know if that's going to necessarily help. I don't know if this is necessarily going to help either. Um, how are we doing staffing? We don't have enough ramp agents. We don't have anywhere near the ramp agents we need. Happiness is not high. Only 57%, but that's probably because our uh, ramp agents are overworked, underpaid, and underappreciated. So, tell you what, let's... I was going to kind of uh, work through Terminal 4 a little bit, but let's do a little tweaking here and there in uh, the terminals. See if we can make things a little bit better. And we're going to start off with the staff room in both here and the... Uh, Staff room over in Terminal 2. See if that helps things. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here. Um, but hopefully you guys are having a good day. And uh, staff room is what I want. Just do a nice big room like that. Not that I know where I landed that. There we go to here. And uh, I think we'll do a small bathroom for the uh, hardworking men and women down here. There we go. Now, this is going to be for service tech, security, the, these two folks here. Natalia and uh, Andre. Look at that. They're, Andre's just exhausted. No energy. Needs to go to the bathroom. You've got no energy as well. Let's Let's give them a place to go. And uh, at least have a little bit of a relaxation. So we're going to clear all types. Uh, security. I guess janitor is fine. Service tech ramp. And that's it. Uh, probably need a door in there, don't we? We'll add the door. Nah, that'll work. Put a trash can next to the door. And uh, how about a, a vending machine here? And maybe... Uh, a vending machine there. You can get your Cheez-Its, your, your sodas, your Mountain Dew, your Powerade, because it's probably a little on the warm side over there. Uh, we'll leave a little bit of space. We'll add in a couple couches. Uh, we'll do that and like that. That'll work. And give me some chairs. Let's have a nice modern armchair down over here. Let's add some tables in. Maybe one over here. No, not there. Maybe one there. And have a pull there. And uh, how about maybe some nice little... Get a nice palm down here. In the corners, just to make things a little bit more colorful. Uh, actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to take out you guys. And I'm going to add in 
just a couple desks. Maybe you guys can uh, deal with your scheduling. You can schedule where you're going to be, uh, your, your PTO, your paid time off. Um, let's go with let's go with the lighter blue. I think give you a nice carpet to uh to have in there. Maybe we'll even give you a some nice black tile in the back. There we go. So that will help out these guys. I'm just gonna grab the whole thing. Did did I actually no? There we go. Figured I wasn't going to remember to turn the bathroom on. So let's grab all this. We're going to slide over to Terminal 2. Uh, where are we going to put it? I guess we'll put it right over here. Uh, how about right over here? Sorry. Hmm. We'll put it closer to the uh, security area. And I think you guys will appreciate that and that'll probably help some of the staff be able to turn planes around a little faster and uh why not we'll a little dark tile in this one as well uh staff room on clear security janitor service ramp oh did i turn the other one on okay it is all right so that takes care of you all uh, let's do another quick swing through the staffing agency. We needed, what, 40 ramp agents, if I recall that what that number was? Yeah, grab them all, why not? Uh, janitors are something else we're going to need more of. So we'll do that. Hopefully we will get the break rooms in and running, and this is just a mess. What do we have? Oh. We have a gaping hole. What do we have on Tuesday? 56 flights. That's not great. I did increase it to 120. You are waiting on you, aren't you? Yeah. If I do that, will that force you guys to go further down over here? I think it will. This one's turning because it was already kind of mapped to go that way. You're trying to go up. Uh, what are we sitting at? I don't think we've got enough. Contemplating dropping the other large runway, and that's just not gonna happen right now. So I'm hoping that this will clear things up a little bit. Why did you go that way, my friend? Up like it was going to turn, but it decided not. I don't know why they're going that well. Probably because it's just sitting in pattern, so the game's already calculated where it needs to go. Um, I have contemplated flipping this runway back so it takes off from right to left, but I don't think that's going to solve my problems either because that's just going to complicate things coming from this way and coming from this way. So I think we just might have to deal with it as it is for right now. There's still a lot of red. Service is not happening, though. I don't know if that's because it's slow or what. Let's take a quick look around just to make sure everything is, you know, at least zoned somewhat correctly. They should be able to access all of this. It's not a big deal. I mean, there's a janitor right there. Uh, there's stairs here. Where do those stairs come from? Right? Just randomly in the middle. Okay, that's... That's fine. Um, let's... I guess take out this wall. 
And we'll take out this wall to make things a little bit easier. I do not have vehicle assignments over here, which is a little bit of the issue as well. Uh, we'll come through, take out some walls, just so uh, staff can get around a little bit better. In fact, that's probably the issue here. Uh, they should be able to walk across the service road with no problems, because I've had that in the past. Oh, it's not even zoned as secure. Oh, well, that's, that's all kinds of problems. Yeah, that's a whole different set of problems, because I'm... Assuming I also probably need to have this all zoned as secure. Who are you guys? Okay, you're just a con you're just a contractor. I I got a little concerned because I thought that was just a member of the public that's just randomly down here. Okay. In theory, you guys should be able to access all the planes now, yes? No. E no, this side. I'm going to take out this wall just for consistency. I usually take out the wall opposite here. Now, all of those are zoned, except for these two that I just did. Everybody around here is okay. Think we might be good? I know that doesn't need to be secure, but... Uh... Come on. You're, you're just you're just standing there. Just a little hammer. Oh, that's staff room. That's not what I want. Okay. That's probably gonna help some of this. Taking care of this might be beneficial as well. Um you guys all seem to be okay as well, though, so it's just this nightmare of airline traffic. But hopefully that'll allow people in the E to actually get turned around a little bit better. And it looks like it's starting to clean up, but then again, there's also less flights coming in. So we will keep on keeping on to uh, see if that helps. Not entirely sure. Okay, what? It is 2 o'clock in the morning. Let's come upstairs. And I kind of want to start over here. Uh, there is seats and everything from the gates. I'm going to go ahead and uh, further down that walkway. There are bathrooms and there are walk -alators. So I think we're going to start here today. And, uh, yeah, there's just two bathrooms. There's some drinking fountains. And a couple trash cans on either side. Oh. Ah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I'm running all this. Where is... I'm trying to identify the center here. And how big are the small walk -alators?
Are these in this one direction? Yes, it is. There is a single walk later that goes that way. I don't, I don't know why it's only just one and in one direction, but uh, we will go with that. And then there is some seats next to it. We will get to the seating in a little bit. And there's a wall that comes out to, I guess. How big is this small window? Oh, nope, never mind, no windows. Oh, that's upstairs, it has windows. There is a smoking room first that's kind of on this corner. That has... Yeah, I think we'll do that. Has a double set of doors. Mm. They're glass doors, so we'll do that and that. To keep all the smoke in, I assume there's a ventilation system in there. Um... There is a plant I can see through the, uh, so there's kind of a, a, I almost said a smoke window, but it, it's a frost window that lives right here. There's a bigger smoking room up on the mezzanine level. Man, that trash truck is, is having a field day right now. Oh, because he can't get in. Uh, the trash can over there. And there's just some basic armchairs here and there. Just, uh, hanging out. Nope. There we go. So you can, uh, have your cigarettes, your cigars, and just, uh, a little bit of a, uh, little spot to relax. A couple tables to have an ashtray, maybe. And, yeah, it just looks like they're kind of white. Well, we will go with off-white, so it's something, something more in those tones. And then the wall kind of continues over for bathrooms. Two, three. Uh, we'll do something like this. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. Well, it, it doesn't matter now that I'm thinking about it. Because I was just going to zone the whole thing as a bathroom. But I'm going to put that wall back there anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but there's like a, a drink station in the middle here. For uh, like a drinking fountain. Crash can. And there we go. Uh, looks like it's white tile. So we'll come in with... Looks like it's kind of a duller tile. So something like that. Uh, you know what? Let's just deal with uh, some seating. And... Uh, I think we're just gonna start over here. Uh, is there a walk later on this side? No, but there is a, another set of bathrooms again because this stretches a little bit further. So I'm just gonna grab these bathrooms. We will just copy paste them. Uh, 
That'll work. There is an information board on this corner. In front of where the seats are going. The seats themselves, it's the smaller benches. Something like here and here. Really close to those bathrooms. And there's a little bit of space there. And then there are some modern-esque armchairs. That are in here as well. And then there are plants. There's one down over here. Kind of one over here as we're going to kind of continue some of this seating here and here and you guys some seats up over here nope out there i want to down one Don't see any, like, laptop tables or anything. Uh, there is a section where it's just these seats. And I think I want to spread this out a little bit more. I will come back to that in due time. Uh, bathrooms, I guess we can get those turned on. And it's just seating all the way down. Um, then here in the back corner is basically a bunch of bench seating. With a little bit of uh, modern armchairs kind of thrown in here and there. So we'll leave space there. Something like that. And and we're broke. Which, okay. I'm contemplating redesigning these bathrooms. I think I will. I'm going to take out this. And I'm just going to push it forward one square. Just to have a little bit more walkway space. Um, hmm. Can I, I have the cash that I could put this in real quick before I really run out of cash? Forty-nine flights. Nobody's happy with us, but people seem to be getting checked in. Okay, people seem to be getting through security. Okay, so that'll be something to kind of keep an eye on. But we need more flights so we can keep the uh, the money going. I'm gonna pause for a second and uh, get my bathrooms back together here. Uh, the hand dryer's got to go. We'll do one there. And that'll work. Uh, again, we're, we'll stick with the same tile. I used this one, right? Yeah. The carpet overall. Kind of a tannish color. It's got some... I would almost say purple through it. 
But since we don't have purple in any kind of flooring, we will just kind of come through with the tan mat. I don't know if I'm going to do design work on it or not. That'll be something we have to I'll consider in between. But we'll go with the, the fancy mat that looks like it has some kind of texture on it. Um, there are a few trash cans here and there, and there are some more planks. And I mean there are lots of planks. Go ahead and turn things loose. Uh, I want to go ahead and do that. Copy you guys. Not that I have money. There's not this much seating. But there's a considerable amount of seating. Grab you guys, and we'll start to spread some of the seating out as we get further. Over into this realm. You mean insufficient funds? Okay, fine. Uh, these seats are all kinds of different colors. A lot of the seats in this neck of the woods is... Uh, it's closer into the... Some orange ones. There are a bunch of red ones, a little bit darker red. A lot of red. Um, yeah, in this area, it's pretty much red or orange. Some of these seats are in the brownish tones. Might even be a little darker. Uh, some of these are also that same dark color. Some of these are kind of a light tannish color. It does not seem like there's a rhyme or reason to it. Uh, as for the rest of the seating... Um... There's a section of greens here in the middle. Don't know. There's kind of a lighter shade. It's it's very interesting that there's just so many different color variations. And a lot of these are varying within the seats themselves, not like this particular one, not the entire bench row. And as we go further down, a little bit more in the blue tones. And that basically is going to wrap up that seating area. I'm going to copy paste most of that for further down over here. So give me this, give me this. Oh, not that we've got cash flow. Well, great. Well, we've got some seating. We've got the smoking room. We've got somebody who's stuck. 
Employee can't make it to a staff room. Not sure why. So let's check the zoning real quick. International and then secure. Yeah, it seems like it's okay. Yeah, I know. There's no food over here yet. We will we will get to Food. Oh, that's because that's carpeting. Down over here, there is a game corner. Or, sorry, the entertainment corner. Offering a fun selection of games. Uh, is the place to lift your spirits before you fly. It has an Xbox Connect. It's got arcade machines. It's got pinball games. Retro arcade machines. Everything you could possibly want. So that's going to live down in this corner, as well as an information board and more seating. But that's going to have to wait until we have cash. And that's going to have to wait until next time. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Bye.